Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Intertronics and today we're going to continue with Siemens S7-1200 series PLC modules and the one we're going to be checking out today is a transistor module. We're going to look at it, how to wire it and how the, the card itself works and create like a small little program and test out uh, the outputs and inputs, uh, inputs and outputs and also uh, point out a couple of things to watch out if you are trying to fault find your card. So that's what we're going to do today. So uh, this is going to be part of the, it's going to go into the part of the list of all S1200, uh, 200 series PLC uh, playlists. So do check out all of the videos we already made for. So yeah, all the related manuals and all, anything I believe would benefit you possibly, it's going to be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Right here we are, so as usual let's go through the ports and have a look at how they are built, can we see, yeah we can see. So uh, as usual a uh, card from S1200 series, uh, it requires its own power supply and here as you can see L plus and M, they are going to be your uh, two, these two inputs uh, down there for 24 volt DC. Another thing is what would, uh, which, which this card is fairly unique, uh, how you usually would wire uh, on other PLCs. This power supply in here already powers your transistors right here on the bottom. We're going to get to that one in a minute. So this is, try to remember these two, L, L plus and M is already powering your transistors down here. And all you need to do is literally the cable to come out is already, as soon as it comes on, it outputs 24 volt DC. But the key is to remember, which we're going to, which, uh, which we're going to show in the end of the video, to watch out that this M in here, this neutral in here, it is your neutral for wherever this 24 DC is going. So as we can see, we've got the light uh, light bulb in here, which is going to check out in a minute. It's got 24 volt DC going to it, which is going to be output from our uh, first input from this card, and it does require the negative, the negative there, which is going to be my X2 in here. You know, if you zoom X2 in here come from the same power supply that it is powering this guy, uh, this card itself. If it comes from different power supply, it will not work because this neutral does not come from the same point. So do bear that in mind. And we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing testing. I'll show what happens if you uh, do uh, you can get a different uh, the, um, uh, negative from different power supply. So uh, as it goes for inputs, as you can see right there, we've got a list of inputs in here, list of inputs here, in, to in total there are eight from zero to seven and you got to got one m and two m each one of these inputs in here does require its own negative and you can send in inputs itself you can send in from different power supply as long as the m which is your negative from the whichever power supply you're using is coming in here and all the 24 volts when you send it back from sensors or uh, switches in here and things uh, switches in here and things like that uh, is coming from the same power supply so then it will be able to activate your input so you do are able to have separate power supplies for your inputs if you wish you could have a uh, one for up and one for down in my case as you can see down there i have linked out i have taken the m from here shipped it shipped it across and uh, from there on so the negative in here goes to my one m in here and then i take a plus from here because again, the same power supply, as you can see it, see it. So let me just zoom out a little bit, ooh, the wrong way. So as you can see, I am sending M to the uh, M, uh, one M in here and 24, I'm taking 24 out of this guy in here, sending it to my switch and that's it, that switch will uh, send the power back into my input and that input will come on. We're gonna check that in a minute. And when it comes down to outputs, let's just put that one on there. Outputs right here in the bottom. Basically, all they do is 24 volt signals. So you've got eight outputs right here in the bottom, and they all send out 24 volts to wherever they need to go. Why transistor? Transistors are a lot faster than relays, so much more reliable. So uh, bear in mind, but they come with uh, some limitations, i.e., they come with current. Do check out <coughs> whichever card you're using. Make sure you do understand what's the maximum current and go can uh, be output from uh, the, the from uh, your uh, transistor card and if it's in our case that is a 0.5 amps so as you can see it's very limited amount of current 
but for a lot of higher speed and things like that. So do make sure it does not exceed the half an amp, but you can find that in your data itself. So let's quickly jump into our portal, have a look where the IO is here and create like a very simple, small program to see how it works. Here we are. So as you can see in here, we, there's our card right in here. You can find that card as well under your uh, local modules, a part of your program. We already gone through how to put these things in things live. We're not going to go through that. So to find out uh, where the card is, so quickly uh, click on it and uh, go into a general where you can find out all your digital inputs and digital outputs. As you can see, they all are here. And uh, what I usually do is uh, if you want to, uh, you can find out the input filters and things like that. Uh, pretty much all the general information about them and things uh, what, what is what each channel has been assigned to but the quickest way you can do is you go in here so what we're going to do in here we're going to take this this is the address straight away it's going to be a lot this address is being allocated automatically so it's an i at 12.0 so what we're going to do in here we're going to call that one a uh, transistor oh i'm not typing uh, in is it spelled now? I don't care. And then uh, we do the same thing on output. So, so you can name your tags in here if you wish to. That's uh, entirely up to you. I'm just going to do it in here because that's the quickest way for me now. So and then uh, transistor out. So there we go. So uh, there we go. This is where you can. This is all your tags. So you know where which which is which. Now let's go to main on B one. This is a continuation of what we'd be doing before. So let's go uh, put the contact in, and let's put the coil in and name that in a uh, transistor in. That'll be our input, and a transistor out. That'll be our output and uh, pump it into our program here we go load it into a controller so and now it's all that done so that's how we pretty much check out uh, our uh, card in here what we have to find out ios so let's jump back on the uh, card itself and test out how it works here we are so there's our switch so here we go that works our uh, uh, input has come on and as you can see our light has come on as well and i'll show you what happens if you uh, source the let's just put that switch down there so it doesn't fall off and find a screwdriver so we're going to take this one out without trying to kill the card this is our neutral in here oh we did it's all right we'll recover in a minute so as you can see let me just put this one off as you can see that's the the transistor is still on and uh, but lamp is not because i disconnected my neutral in here what i'm going to do i got another power supply literally there i can't show you which one is that is and i'll attach it to the minus and as you can see nothing is really happening i'm literally putting on a negative in there nothing's happening because it's negative it's coming from uh, this card's power supply in here and that ladies and gentlemen is how you wire the uh, transistor card for a S1200 series uh, PLC, which is additional card. That's what we're doing. So yeah, and that will cover it. So hopefully that's helping you out to make you understand how the card itself is working and how to wire it. Then you're well on your way to, to uh, achieve your desired goals. So that will do for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like. Uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel and do like what we're doing here. And yes, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.